A major step towards something like this becoming a reality. A wildlife overpass or underpass across a local highway. As tennis reporter Michael Chin tells us why a federally backed study recommends the I-15 in the North County for a unique crossing. Holy sh Dash cam video shows a mountain lion barely avoiding a car on Navajo Road in San Carlos last month. For the mountain lion, the danger's far bigger when trying to cross the 15. In the area just south of Temecula, three mountain lions killed in 2017. Carl Lacey is an associate program director at the Nature Conservancy. And the good news is we can fix it. The nonprofit led a just released study backed by the National Park Service recommending this stretch of I-15 for a crossing, either an overpass or underpass, like crossings in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming, allowing mountain lions and other wildlife to safely get across. In many ways, this stretch is an ideal location. That is preserve owned by SCSU. And on the other side, 73 acres just bought by the Nature Conservancy. It's extremely critical. Lacey says the local mountain lion population cut off by the freeways are practicing inbreeding. Genetic isolation of the mountain lion population can make them more susceptible to disease, and this can be catastrophic to the mountain lion population. Caltrans is studying a crossing of the 101, which would cost between 50 and 60 million dollars. Daniel Carlton lives near the I-15 site. No, that's way too much money. I mean, we're we paying up taxes already. But Lacey points out the crossings have drastically cut down vehicle collisions with wildlife. Her group intends to explore private funding to help pay for a crossing for a population at a crossroads. Michael Chen, 10 News.